What's up YouTube? We post here and today it's Victor bringing you guys another battle for our original series. Now I know some people left comments on the last video about sets, but you know it's 6th gen. I'm just kind of getting into it. So currently I'm probably just going to try out some new Pokemon myself and you've been thinking, well Victor, if you're trying new Pokemon, why is this team pretty much exactly the same as before? Again, I'm on the other side with the Gliscor and company. Because, I don't know, I'm just trying to... Last um, generation, I just I didn't really try to focus on the team, but this time I'm pr probably going to try to do that. P new Pokemon I wanted to try out, try out that I thought was really cool would be Trevenant, and my opponent also has a Trevenant. He's the guy with the Talon Flame and Keys. Trevenant's really cool because it's got... It's essentially pretty good counter to Kangaskhan, unless Kangaskhan... If Kangaskhan Mega Evolves, and... It's got that harvest ability, which is always good. Citrus bear com harvest ability. Combine that with citrus berry sub curse hor leech seed and then horn leech just for some. You know, beco don't become taunt bait. It can actually be pretty effective Pokemon. So let's go on with this battle, shall we? Also, be opponent replaced melodic. Um, Cleffy's gonna come in here, lead off. I'm gonna. S I see. I don't really know what I want to do, so I'm gonna go into um, Gliscor because I can just spam earthquakes like no tomorrow. Um, he's going to set up a substitute and then later of spikes. I'm just thinking, okay, you got the spikes up. I mean, they're going to be a bit annoying, but not too much. Going to go for an earthquake again, because just because. And Trevenant comes in here, and he sets up a sub, which is pretty obvious. And so I brought in Breloom, but then I'm thinking, okay, I have nothing to hit it with, so that was kind of dumb. Here he uses Phantom Force, which is just like, I'm, I had to go look that up while it was. It's, it turns out it's just a Sky Attack that goes to Protect and Substitute. Anyways, going to go into Bliss, take that Phantom Force, now I'm going to go into Halucha, because, um, to take whatever he wants to throw at me, because I don't mind. I'm going to set up one Sword Stance here, I'm thinking, this is perfect, I can start setting up the, um, Sword Stances, go up, get up to plus six, um, Go for another Swords Dance as he goes for the Phantom Force. Now I can rest off all the damage. However, um, he is going to be able to get my burn off, another burn off this turn. Mostly due to the fact that he's got the substitute there. And it would have actually been perfect. But I was just, my thought process was if I can be at plus three, that's better than being at, you know, plus one. Anyways, gonna go for another acrobatics. He goes in cleft key. It doesn't matter because I can just take him out this turn with a high jump kick. Boom! I haven't, I have actually have not missed high jump kick one time this whole match. Gonna go into my Trevenant this turn. Take a fake out, um, momentarily forgetting that I'm mute, um, not immune to ghost because of his scrappy ability. However, I do not mind. And he's gonna go for substitute because the switch is obvious. I'm gonna go. He's gonna go for Brave Bird, do a bit of damage to himself. And I'm gonna go for a Curse, just so that he doesn't feel like he can set up on me. Um, Citrus Berry is gonna recover. I'm gonna get another Citrus Berry. Gonna get up to 75, four percent, which is always awesome. Gonna go into Gliscor because Gliscor can take the Brave Birds all right. I am max defense, impish nature. Um, I thought he would take it better because Talonflame actually only has base 80 attack. It's it can't really do much if it's not boosted. Anyways, going to go for Sword Dance here because I know he can't do anything to me, and I figure if I can get maybe plus four, I can probably break the substitute. So that's what I'm pr going to proceed to do. Go for the plus four because you can just protect on the Phantom Fort. I I thought I could protect on the Phantom Force, but then I forgot that it goes through it. So I was, that was kind of a waste of a turn. But it doesn't matter because it only does twenty four percent. And he types lol in the chat, which um. I'm not sure. Anyway, he's gonna go for Switcheroo. Um, give me my choice scarf, and now I got a plus four Gliscor with the scarf. So I'm thinking, oh, that's cool. Then if I remember, he's got the Talon Flame. So I have to go into Blissey now, because Blissey is not a counter to Talon Flame, but is a check. Because if he starts setting up Sword Stances, I don't have anything to take it, because my Gliscor cannot hurt that thing, unless it has toxic, unless I'm toxic it. <laughs> so basically, when I see Talon Flame, what I do is I bring in Bliss. Also, um, Halucha's just there to be salvaged because, um, I do have Heal Bell on this Blissey. I'm gonna go into Halucha now, and, cause of the Will-O-Wisp, and I go for, he goes for Freak Out, I'm gonna get the Citrus Berry, get back up to 70%, which is always good, sitting pretty at 70%. Going to go over Leech Seed, he predicts that, goes into Zone Trevenant, and I can't do anything to him, so, uh... 
I actually stay in. I I actually go for a curse as he goes for the burnt um will o wisp, which actually is really bothersome because I kind of need my Trevenant non-status because it doesn't do that well on health. Anyways, finally get his his Trevenant's gonna go down and my Halucha is gonna come in here. I see the Talon Flame. He's got priority. I don't want to stay in. I'm gonna go into my own Blissey and just. Let him take him out with his own recoil because that's what Blissey does best. He's going to go for another Brave Bird. And I'm going to soft boil up that back there. He, I'm pretty sure he can go for Sword of Stance, but I don't actually mind because I'm not going for the 6-0. I, I just want this threat out of the way because Talonflame, when it starts setting up, it is dangerous. I'm going to miss the Toxic. It doesn't matter because it, it just doesn't because he's just going to take himself out with the recoil. I'm gonna go into Gliscor this turn to go for the Brave Bird. Not, I actually don't remember why I sacked my Gliscor. I think it was because I didn't think the recoil would take him out, but I do have 700 HP, and 700 over 3 is about 230, so. With the Toxic, he probably would have lost the HP. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Halucha this turn. Not sure why, I should have went into Trevenant instead. Um, this time I do go into it, and. He's going to power up, predicting the uh, power up punch because he did mega evolve. And now I can leech seed the Greninja, going to be porn, which is an actually just a ca complete counter to Greninja because Greninjas normally don't carry the Grass Knot, but even if they do, Grass Knot only does about 40%. So that just makes Vaporn the absolute best counter to Greninja or any bulky water, anyhow. And this is a broken image. I don't know. This Kangaskhan is just... Yeah, ignore it. I'm going to let him set up the power-up punches, but honestly, it doesn't matter because he has Mega Evolved causing this image glitch. But but alas, the spot... Oh, I had a wish. I had a wish. He's going to go for an Earthquake. It actually does a fair amount, which is probably why he had the power-up punch there. I probably should not have let him set up. Anyways... I I go for a leech seed this turn and misses. That kind of matters. It would have got me a bit of health back and taken a bit away from him. But now I can go for the spore and basically anything because this Kangaskhan is going to go for sucker punch, predicting me to attack him. I'm going to go for substitute and now it's essentially it's actually is GG. I'm going to be able to take them out with the substitute and I'm seed bomb. Sorry. And this turn, I actually go for the C substitute, but in hindsight, I probably should have just gone for the focus punch because it is actually kind of dangerous. And the substitute is actually a misclick because um, there was always that chance that he would wake up and his moves break through sub. So setting up the substitute was essentially uh, a big mistake. Anyways, Trevenant was probably played a pretty crucial role in this game because it kind of effect it effectively kept the Kangaskhan in check and if it wasn't burned it probably would have done a bit better. I'll admit that. So, but that's why you got the heal bell on the bliss. So, if you enjoyed this battle, leave a thumbs up. And next week I'll probably try to use a different Pokémon that I find I I think is interesting from generation 6 so yeah not next week because I've been uploading kind of infrequently well I haven't been uploading the same schedule but eventually so yeah thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time and his reaction to my logic and just like pop right kicks. Yeah, um, um, no, this is Gen Zach's gonna kind of talk to me. No! We'll, we'll, we'll train Lincoln. I'm gonna help. I love what you're saying. Anyways, but go in the door.